The African Court on Human Rights, uh, Human and People's Rights in Tanzania has made a landmark ruling today to allow an indigenous Kenyan tribe known as Ogek to return to their ancestral land. The group was evicted from the Mao forest by the Kenyan government amid claims that they were harming it. The court dismissed this, saying the government authorities failed to demonstrate their case. Ahead of the ruling, the BBC's David Wafula travelled to Mao Forest to meet members of the Ogek community. <laughs> I have lived here since I was born. I grew up here, married traditionally, had my family here, buried my husband in this forest when he died. I don't know anywhere else. I now live here with my great-grandchildren. The Ogek indigenous community depend on forest for food, medicine, shelter, and preservation of their culture. <laughs> they live in homes on top of the many ridges spread across the forest. This is one of the few remaining homesteads of the Ogek people. They've been living here for centuries as hunters and gatherers. But the fear of being evicted from this forest is putting in question the existence of the future generation. I took a walk with some of the villagers to have a look at some of the activities they had in the forest, like beekeeping. In July 2008, the Kenyan government launched a campaign to evict people living in the Mao forest, including the Ogiek, in order to protect one of East Africa's most important watersheds. When we realized all was not well, we tried to protest. We were beaten, others were arrested. We realized it was not helping, so we decided to approach human rights. We were advised to go to the Human Rights Court headquarters in Arusha. The case gained momentum that the Ogiek community must be listed to. Campaigners have pointed out that commercial farmers has put this forest at more danger than the lifestyle of hunting and gathering practiced by the Ogiek community. And until this threat is addressed, this delicate ecosystem the Ogiek rely on is in danger of degrading further. David Wafula,